<laughs> you so weak. <laughs> Did you just comb your eyebrows? Comb it? Yeah, it went like that. <laughs> What's good, YouTube? If you're here, you're dope as hell, and welcome to another video. To get straight to the point, my client's haircut looked just like Ruby Rose. Ruby Rose, if you don't know, is an Australian actress and a model. She's been in Orange is the New Black and countless other series, and she has a dope ass haircut. If you want to, check her out. I'll leave links in the description. Let's get right into it. Hold up. Before we get right into it, this isn't going to be like a taper fade, a ball taper fade, uh, none of that other stuff. It's basically just going to be blending. My client just wanted to trim, so you'll notice I'm using big guards to just blend everything out. I'll teach you guys once we get into the video. Let's do it. So to begin the haircut, you want to bring the hair down to an even length. So as you can see, my client has a lot of bulk on the top. But with a haircut like this, you don't want to bring the hair down too low. So right now I have a, a number five on. I think my lever was all the way open. Um, even if it's all the way closed, it won't take off too much hair. So uh, depending on your client's hair, you may go higher or lower, but that's what's on this, uh, this clipper right here. And of course, once you take the bulk down on the right side, you want to go to the left side and do the same thing. So I probably should have mentioned this at the beginning of the video, but when you're, when you're giving somebody a trim, you wanna really use your wrist and flick out. Don't like have the, the clipper parallel to the head and try to dig in their scalp. No, you wanna just flick out. You wanna just be able to blend all the areas in. Obviously this early in the video, I have one low side and one high side. The point of the blend is to find a happy medium, sort of like a fade. So. Use your wrist, flick out, take your time, and debulk. So after using the number five guard, I grab a number four and I continue to debulk. Again, this is so simple. As I stated in my previous video, hair cutting is a simple formula. Granted, we're not doing a taper fade or nothing like that. We're just blending the areas in and it's so similar. You go gradual. You go from a five, from a four, to a three, to a two, to a one. Obviously, we're not going down all the way to zero on my client's head, but it's a simple formula. And then right here, again, I'm just applying what I did from the right side on the left side of the hair. So don't get confused when you see different angles shift. I'm just doing the same thing on the other side of the head.
So at this point in the haircut, I go back to my number five guard. Um, I did not take enough bulk off the top of the head initially. So again, it's all blend work. Just make sure it's all blended. I'm just debulking with the number five. And then right here, I get my scissors and I just lightly cut some hair off on the top. Uh, it was just hair in some specific area, so I didn't want to use my clipper for that. I decided, well, I thought it'd be easier using my scissors. So if you have scissors, you can use those or you could just continue to use your clipper, that's fine. sideburns my client wanted to keep the sideburns kind of thin uh, so I just grabbed my one of course you're not gonna bald this area out again you want to leave hair, hair on that area just grab your number one guard closed or open preferably closed to take a little more bulk off the the temple area the sideburn area just go up uh, trim that down this and you're good Chucky production. and then right here I continue to blend using my number four and my number three so again like usual you want to use your wrist and flick out you want to go in sequential order this haircut is not hard at all you're just literally going in order so again I started with my five and I go down to my four my three and my two and maybe a one I only use the one because my client specifically asked for it for the temple area. Uh, so again, just pay attention to what clips you use, flick out, use your wrist, have fun with it, and you're good. And then right here, I'm just applying the same step to the other side of the head. So I'm gonna just let the music play. I'm gonna speed this part up. It's the same steps. Hopefully I'll catch on. I'm praying y'all visual learners.
Lastly, with all your clients, you want to line them up. So, again, tip for lineups, you just want to tap the line and keep it natural. Don't push anything back and keep everything symmetrical. This really isn't a hard lineup because it's just the back of the head and some of the temple area. So just tap the line, uh, make sure everything's good, and that's the haircut right there. Also, excuse the weird angles too. I know the angles are pointing kind of down, like they're up, because the, the tripod I was using at the time was down. This is the old video. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> excuse the angles. All right, guys, that's gonna do for the video. Uh, the video was, uh, again, different from what I normally do. Hopefully you guys liked it. You guys might receive female clients that want this type of haircut. And if so, this is dope that you came to the, to, to the tutorial, because now you can do it. As usual, like and subscribe. Follow me on social media if you have anything you wanna say, or if you wanna get in contact with me. And I'll be giving y'all the next one soon. Peace. Stay blessed, and I'll also link you know, link in the description where I got my sweater. Like I said, I will be giving y'all the fits, the come ups. Broke college student, I'm gonna put y'all on game. Stay safe.